Listen, this ain't hard to figure out. It's smokescreen season. People is lying. I'm telling you. What's good, people? It's your boy, Mr. Rome. Cowboys fan talk right back like I never left. How y'all feeling, man? Welcome to smoke screen season where you can't believe nothing you see or hear because <laughs> every team is apparently trying to trade up or trade back. You know, all of a sudden I'm hearing names I haven't heard all off season connected to Cowboys like Drake London. It's wild out here. But before I get started, man, thank you for all the support, the likes, the shares. Y'all got me well past my goal of 11K before the draft. I'm almost at 11K, 1100, and we pushing towards 12. That's it. Um, just wanted to say I wouldn't be nothing without y'all, man. I'm humble. I'm thankful. I appreciate y'all. Um, yeah, man. Apparently today the Cowboys not only want to trade up, they want the whole world to know. You know? How do you get dead when you go to a car dealership telling the car dealer, I have to leave with a car today? You think they find a way to cut you a deal or they beat you in the head? Why would the Cowboys tell the whole world, hey, man, I'm trying to trade up no matter what. All right, give me your whole rest of your draft. You can trade up. Like, it's idiotic. We're not trying to trade up. And if we were, we wouldn't be saying nothing. Last year, you ain't hear nothing about us trading back, but we did with the Eagles, mind you. Like, Stephen Jones is stupid sometimes. Jerry Jones is aggravating, and the whole way we, the Cowboys are ran is frustrating. But what I don't think they are, I don't know. They just might be that stupid. But I would just, for the sake of argument, what I don't think they are is that stupid. For the sake of argument. <laughs> Why would you tell the whole world? Now, sometimes you you, you, you you throw a little rumor out there. Cowboys might be open to moving up. You let that rumor percolate. You let a team hit you behind the scenes. Y'all work some things out, etc. Do I think the Cowboys have had calls about trading up? Possibly. Do I think the Cowboys have calls about trading, up, trading back? Bingo. Because that's where the meat of this draft is. The meat and the bones and the... You know, the, 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 the real good part of this draft is between pick, like, 20 and pick, like, 100. Like, right in there, that 80, you can get some. And it's not that there's no great players above 20. I'm not saying that. I'm saying you can find a whole lot of value getting extra picks in there because all of them players are graded so closely together. Some are being underrated and some are being overrated it's your job as a scouting department to figure that out you know because if we were going to trade up i said earlier on twitter only person i'm trading up for is charles cross period because he's definitely a tackle that you'd be like plug him in where ty smith is as soon as and he can play guard so yes get cross if that's possible without killing your whole draft ammunition for this year and next year you know or jordan davis Jordan Davis has worked to trade up too, but I don't think that they would do it. I know they trade up for a tackle. I don't think the Cowboys would trade up for it. Now, if Jordan Davis falls to us, they, I think they'll take him. That's a different conversation. But I don't think they'll trade up for him, no. No, 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 not at all. Um, it's just one of those things where you can just find so much more value going backwards. You can get a, you can get a George Pickens. <laughs> Y'all know how I feel about George Pickens. Um, and your guard. Two for one. And get an extra pick. And your tight end. Because if you trade back, right, and get two picks in the 30s and the early 40s, and you get George Pickens and Trey McBride. What? Trey McBride and George Pickens is worth more than one player in the in the first round. Not a question. But it's all on how you finagle this. So, yeah, if you trade back and get those two, shout out to Boss Cowboy, um, Big Game James, Law Nation. Um, they were doing the final word last night, and they did a draft like that. At, well, after I came in the comments complaining. But I don't think it's because of me. I just was complaining, like, how y'all leave George Pickens on the board? But when they did their second one, they got George Pickens and Trey McBride. And I think they got Hayes out of Oklahoma. I think they they, they, they clinked up. And that's what you could do if you trade back because the value's right in that pocket. You feel me? So I just don't think that trading up is a real possibility. 
I don't think that they, I think they just want everybody to believe it so that they can work this thing perfectly. Get everybody off their scent. You know what I'm saying? But they're not the only team that's trying to trade back. A couple of teams that need to trade up might want to. Use it to their event. Like, I feel like Seattle will want to trade up. Get in there. Get in there. I'm telling you, man. The value in this draft is found, I feel like, after 20 and somewhere around 100. Like, right in that pocket. You know? Because there's definitely underrated players and overrated players. And it's just because so many people are graded so closely, regardless of position. Don't underestimate the fact underestimate the fact that a couple of quarterbacks are going to go earlier than you think. That's going to push people to us, you know. So I either would sit right there or I would I would I would um trade back, you know. And I also was thinking this man. I was thinking this man. There's one player. It's probably more than one. Y'all let me know if what y'all's is that I do not want no matter what. I do not want. It's probably two. I don't want Rayman. Rain Man, whatever his name is, because he's 25 years old already. You already, it's just too old. That's three years, that's just too old. Like, I'm sorry. If he was 25 years old, but you were stepping on the field as Ty Smith as a rookie, I'd deal with it. But he's not that. He's a project. You can't be a project and be that old. You got to be a project and be young so I can work with you. But you can't be, like, finally hitting your, your, your stride at 28. Like, that's going to be dumb. So, please, if they take him, be frustrated. But if they take Trevor Penning, Trevor Penning is trididididash, dash bun diddly ocious bun di He's whack. Not good. I don't know. He got a PR team that's crazy. I know he got a little mean streak, and he's athletic for his size, but he is trash. I do not want him as a tackle. I don't. I watched him get dominated in the senior bowl. I watched younger or smaller players get up under his pads, get him frustrated, get in his head. It's not cool when you're angry because you're frustrated and now you're not thinking. And you want to push players and stuff like that because as a you getting flagged. I don't like it. I don't like it. He's not that. He's not like um, Zach Martin and I like that. Like let's not let's not get it twisted. You know he's decent. He's serviceable. He's a starting caliber tackle in the league, but he's not nothing to move up for. And I definitely wouldn't take him at 24 because there's two other too many other good players that'll be there. I'm telling you right now, man. Like I said, I feel like we're probably going to go receiver. The Drake-London connection that I heard earlier, though, I'm not too mad. Pardon my daughter in the background. Um, Drake-London, I didn't consider him. I feel like he'd be gone because be, I'm hearing that the Washington Washingtons or <laughs> the Commanders, they want him. But we, we, I wouldn't move up for a receiver either. I'm not moving up for a receiver. I'm not moving up for a pass rusher unless it's like, a game changer. Like if Aiden Hutchinson slipped to like twelve, and they move up for him, I get over it. Um, I wouldn't probably move for Carl Loftus. I feel like he'll fall right to you. It's just we're in a good spot as far. It's not we're in a better spot than the people that pick before us. It's just enough talent to where you're good enough to not move and win, or move back slightly and super win. You know, I think I might be team trade back. I'm gonna sleep on that. Might make a video on that tomorrow. But what I really, really do know is the Cowboys, I'm 99.9% .9 sure we ain't trading up. They're they're forcing it too hard. You got your mans out here making whole videos and I ain't you know it. <laughs> just people is just, it they forcing this messaging too hard for it to be true. Why would you tip your hand that hard? You know what I'm saying? It's like walking in the bank with a mask going, yo, well, I'm just letting y'all know I'm about to rob it. You know what I'm saying? So you can leave if you want, put the money up. Like, this is dumb. If we were going to trade up, they would try to keep it low. Because this isn't like a, oh, I got a source telling me. This is like direct news. Just letting y'all know that we're trading up no matter what. Like, the fact that they think that this is believable. Like, if I can figure it out, I know other execs is like, the Cowboys are idiots. But that's just not a story for another day, man. All I'm saying is this. If we're not trading up, all the value is if we trade back. You know what I'm saying? And if you stay put a great player will fall to you, and let's rock and roll. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Do y'all think we trading up? Would y'all trade back? Who's the player that you do not want? Because if we draft Trevor Penning, I'm going to punch a hole in my TV. It's your boy, Mr. Rome. I'll...